So we're on Manicougan. CAF is going to push for Fox 13. There's a compound radio um, complex here that the mill will be defending basically point blank. Um, but they do have two squads that are on the map. You see these two other fob marks. These are reinforcement squads. And when Mill, or sorry, Calf breaches the outer fob radius for the uh, Fox 13 radio, these squads can respond. So just to paint you guys the picture here, um, once Mill reaches, sorry, I'm trying to resize my window so I can paint uh, for you guys. Once Mill reaches, or sorry, Calf reaches this radius, for instance, if the radio was placed in the dead center, you will see the reinforcements from these two points become active. They don't have a lot, they have bodies. And it will fall on Cat, or the Mill reinforcement squads to really take the battle to Calf. Because another important point here is that um, Calf can't go very far north. Um, matter of fact, they can't go north of this line. So right here, this is the Calf LOA. They cannot go north of this line. So all of this up here is out of reach for CAF. CAF are focused on taking the Fox 11 compound and the radio associated with it. Mill get all the access in the world to move. There's no mobility restrictions for Mill. So Mill can respond by hitting Calf in the back from a long flank. This close-in squad at, um, uh, what is this? Um, let me get an exact right here. Golf 10. 4-4. Four, four. Uh, this squad can do things like maybe f run edge. Or they can reinforce the point directly. There's a lot of different movements here, potentially for Mill, and I think it's super cool to see what's possible here. We do have a little bit of a manpower shortage. I think we're running two squads per, t per side. Um, and we'll basically be running basically two full squads. So this is about as complex and a compact of an operation as you can get. Um, for this level of op for the for this level of what's going on here, so let's take a look at the map and see what the plan is right now. Uh, we're going to be following CAF for both rounds of this operation. CAF are basically planning a very straight in assault. They're going to stay in the lower half of their AO here. Um, it's important to know that obviously this is the line they cannot cross. This is the CAF LOA. So they're really focused on pushing west. And they have a lot of firepower to get there. CAF are running like seven, six vehicles. They have uh, Love WC6s, open tops. They have three of them. They have two Love W transports and a transport truck to transport everyone else. I imagine the transport truck never gets used. Um, um, but they also have two smoke barrages, two artillery smoke barrages that can be called in off map. That's super powerful. Uh, you can even see the phase lines that are baked into the plan here. That's super important. Um, and we could take a look at the map here in a second. Uh, let's teleport to here. So you can see how the terrain changes very subtly, but it is important, especially along the southern road here. There's a little bit of a roll. There's a little bit of a valley here when you get closer, 
once this road curves back south, this very this very uh, southern uh, off road, once it curves back south, you've got a lot of hill. This is a lot of cover for calf to move into to really throw a force in here. You've got not a lot of places where a vehicle can be effective from range. Like say, this is the wall of the compound here. We're gonna, we're gonna take a position like we're mill here. What positions can calf hit this from? There. Any of it that range? That's almost 900 meters. It's about 800 meters away from this position, effectively. And you're exposing your vehicle at that point. Given that Mill only have one rifle AT kit for their whole entire platoon, and that the calf vehicles are basically, you know, not bulletproof, um, that requires ARs to be on point. Uh, cap, our mill ARs are non-existent, actually. <laughs> Excuse whatever I said. Um, they have no ARs in their loadout. Uh, mill loadouts are one SL, two FTLs, one medic, two engineers. The platoon armory is one lat, one rifle AT for the entire platoon that can't rearm because I'm pretty sure he gets like multiple AT grenades per his loadout. Uh, they have a Dishkateki, positive. Their FOB at Fox 13 has a Dishka tripod and sandbags. So they have plenty of extra fortifications they can build. They have the Dishka tripod. If they put it in the right place, they can really push calf off quite a bit. Um, but even given this position, like even this southern part of the compound here, like that's fucking rough. And considering your build doesn't get out this far, your build comes back to here. You can't be effective about anything coming from the south if you build a tripod down there. Now, if you build a tripod... No, th even this doesn't work. If you build a tripod here at this corner, you can't do anything but reach across. That's not effective. You have to build a tripod in the rear. You have to build a tripod to defend one of these two intersections from the rear. So you build a tripod here to guard the south road. Like, you could put a tripod here, and it'll cover both these. And if you go to the north, this intersection, you basically die if they come from the north. But you can build a tripod here that can cover uh, east-northeast here, and it covers south. But I think the the gravity and just the way that the operation is designed forces calf to come from the south. Um, I think building a tripod here is certainly it has its merits, but I think you build it in the south. I think you build it to watch the south road. Maybe even like Maybe you, you build it here, it could shoot over this small, uh, small wall. And you put sandbags in front of it so it doesn't get, so the guy that's gunning it doesn't get clipped in the knees. But if you recognize, even if you build the gun in this position that can cover north, that can cover east, infantry can flow into these compound the compound here in the northeast and if they can close to like this sector here hand grenades cause the dishka to cause the dishka um tripod to be worthless i think the big thing is going to be this dishka techie that comes from another sector and you can even see here on the map 
They have the uh, they have the Lodgy, but they have no other vehicles here. Uh, let's take a look at the map. Let's take, let's go wide here. And yeah, they're gonna put their Dishkateki in the farthest possible position that gives the most flexibility to respond with. So once again, from the map here, um, this is the full map here. So CAF can't go north of 1011. They are limited. Mill has their fast response force the furthest away, which gives them the most possibilities to respond. They can basically go across the dam, come back here, and hit calf from behind. Or they could split the force and roll back this way, reinforce this way. They can also reinforce the most direct way and reinforce directly to the west of the FOB. And remember, this is the location that, Cap, that Mill are trying to defend. So there's a lot of different ways that Mill can play this. None of them are great, but there is the chance for Mill to outplay Calf if Calf go for a straightforward assault, which by all indications is what's going to happen. Um, with that being said, we're going to go back over to Calf Main and see if we can't listen into a briefing. Looks like players on the ground here. We might be interrupting a briefing. I'm going to turn in-game comms on. And we're going to listen to Oddball's briefing here. Oh, sorry, just after the first yellow phase line. And moving on to the machine gun marker. And then cars and squad doing the same, but going to the marksman marker. Uh, we're, as I said, we're doing a direct assault. So how we do that is we uh, bound by buddy teams and fire teams and all that kind of stuff that your squad leader will uh, sort out. You suppress the enemy. We've got these cars with the empty 40s on them. Uh, we can use to suppress as well and we get as close to the objective as we can and assault in, clear out the buildings at Fox 13. The objective is to clear the compound of enemies. The secondary objective is the radio. So make sure you prioritize clearing the buildings first and then worry about the radio. Don't get killed trying to dig a radio that you don't need to dig just yet. Um, it's an important point of for man. us is that the enemy's got reinforcement squads to the north, um, so they are going to be reinforcing from the north. We need to watch out for that. So keep northern security as you're making your attack, and then also uh, these vehicles are soft skinned. They will be uh, shot through by the enemy small arms, so do not rely on them for protection. Um, I'd suggest that one person from each squad runs the vehicles, um, the m 24s The breakdown of the vehicles, by the way, is uh, one uh, a piece, a squad. I'm going to take one, Carson's going to take one, and uh, Whiteside's going to take one. Okay? Um, we'll fill in um, the transport vehicles as we see fit, but we should be all dismounting roughly at the first yellow phase line. Any questions? Okay. Um, I guess final thing is that um, the seesaw guys, the ones in the tan camo that you know stick out like a sore thumb. Sorry, but budget cuts. Um, you have C4, I believe, and you can use that to blow up the radio. Again, I caveat that to do it when you see. Uh, an opportunity that doesn't involve you getting shot at the radio. Okay. It's a huge thing. Apart from that, good luck, have fun, and, you know, we've got two rounds to play, and we'll be defending next round, so if you die early, wait for that. Have fun. It's a huge thing that he just mentioned there at the end. Look at these guys with the different camo. These guys are engineers. They have C4. That's a huge thing. The C4 in the mod allows you to throw it. And it does significant damage to structures and other things. So C4 that'll C4 placed well. If these guys survive, that's a big deal. 
Brixie just freaking fell over. What the fuck? <laughs> Tropod, what happened there? Yeah, Explain. Yeah, okay. Tro Tropod, why are you laughing? Losing it, Picard. I'm losing it. <laughs> Tro Tropod, get it together. Tell me what. Tell me what exactly happened, in your own words. Uh, cast on um. So, so the fucking like special warfare class. Is yeah. Tan. Yeah. <laughs> and Kang Kangaroo thought I was tan, and I'm the MG. I was like, what are you talking about? Whoa. Well, first of all, room in here? Is it my tat for you guys? First of all, no, you're good. Okay, someone kept telling me. I just have to say, like, what a way to fucking have fun with this operation. <laughs> Secondly, I'm here for it. I mean, I'll be 100% honest with you. Like, green and tan. If you're colorblind, is that like a thing? No? That's not? I wouldn't know. I have genes that don't allow me to be colorblind, so, like... I, I'm like, not colorblind at all. I don't no. think. Maybe he is. Hmm. I mean, wait, green that and... Got me thinking. Well, no, green and tan, is that like a colorblind thing, though? Because I thought it was like red and blue. It's... Our, our new uniforms look like that Wait, now. can you be it's green? green? It's wait. red and green. It's red and green? It's red green. Oh shit, yeah. so you could be green colorblind? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wait, 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 I thought it was blue! <laughs> there is one for blue, but it's uh, it's a different combo. Oh shit. And I think it's a little bit rare. Alright, that explains so- well, you guys have fun with this, uh, with this play. Um... <laughs> Alright, Tropod, keep it together, man. Uh, we're relying on you as the fucking MG. <laughs> if you hear me cackling, it's not my fault. <laughs> no, I'm gonna blame you. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Get it together, you're the MG. You have to, like, click in- Okay, live. Uh, GLHF, everyone. Good luck, have fun, guys! Don't fucking die early. Bye -bye. Bye. Oh shit, you're taking the transport truck too, damn. All right, round one is uh, starting. So just a reminder, oh, these guys are not following the rules. They can't, maybe it's the outer fob radius they have to be sitting at. And let's just teleport up here to the dismount point. Um. All right, so round one has begun. Remember, CAF are basically pushing to hit the radio, the outer radio distance here. So Hotel 13-4, Hotel 13-7, ho uh, Hotel 13-1. Based on the plan that they have, that's the limit of where they will hit this outer radius here for the radio. And that's where Mill will be able to call in reinforcements. There's only one squad to reinforce them, and they have chosen to start at uh, Charlie 5-6, way out here in the sticks, but it will give them the maximum, basically, like, straightforwardness to really reinforce the point with. I think, given the resistance that Calf will hit here, that's a problem. Uh, the other problem I see is there is no uh, defenses... There's no emplacement set yet for mill. And we can see the problem is they have drawn S's in the ground with sandbags and they are trying to defend these positions. Oh my goodness. The radio is outside. This may or may not have been a gentleman's agreement between the two teams to have the radios outside of Fox 13, but I will say that this is a Chad move of superior order. I think this is a huge deal. Uh, let's look at the other positions here. This is a static watch watchtower in this compound. 
which will grant it enough uh, bullet resistance so that I think Twig King could probably survive here for a hot minute, but I don't think he wants to for long. Let's take a look at the teams real quick. Twig is running as FTL for Bow. Uh, Oddball commanding Calf with Carson and Whiteside. And then Mill is being run by Lundarts with Bow and Kukuman. Sorry, Kukuman. The three is an E. Kukuman. He's now Kukuman. Um, Calf have dismounted at their first phase line. And they're pushing up. They're pushing hard. They end this shit. Uh, two vehicles moving. They have a third one back here. It's Koopa? That's a weird clan tag for him to have. Someone just built something here. What is it? Oh, mines. Mines from behind? That's a bad place for a mine. Uh, where, where is the Dishka emplacement? They don't have build for it anymore, do they? Oh no. Put the, put the Dishka down here, guys. Uh, I don't know what's happening anymore. Let's go back over here. Let's take a look at these guys as they move in. Uh, we'll take a look at, oh, we'll break it down a little bit further because we only have two squads per team here. We have Oddball with Brixie and Koopa in his command squad. Looks like Brixie's running the vehicle. Or sorry, Koopa's running the vehicle. Brixie is AT. Then we have Carson, FTL's uh, Culper, and Mad Maxwell. Perry is running the uh, Special Forces gun here that has a throwable C4. Uh, white side SL with Watts Watts and Primetime FTLs. Kazgro has the Special Forces kit here. And then over to Mill, Londart's running command squad with Speckles and 6-1 as assistants. And then we have Bao running squad 2 with Twig King and Vizzy. Vizzy as FTLs. Lorenzo is the lat for Mill. He is the only one with AT capability for the entire platoon. Cuckoo Main with Raiden and JX Kane. And they're all mounted. These guys are all off point, waiting for the reinforcement call. Bro, how do you even pronounce this? What is, what is this Greek letter shit? ABC. He is, he is ABC now. Whatever this is supposed to be, I don't know. But it's only ABC. That's all I have to say about that. All right. Um, calf making progress. Not quite to the limit yet, but they are about 150 meters away. Let's take a look at the closest squad towards it. We'll get command comms now, actually. We have an open field in front of us. We are shifting our Bravo element uh, through the tree line. And two, having that issue with the big, huge open field, but it is completely within deflated once they get another 100 meters west. So it does not matter. They're just... They're fearing things at this point that don't matter. Uh, Whiteside, his group, is moving th towards... The north side of this approach, Perry here, the special forces dude that has the desert camo. Right? He has the desert camo? He doesn't have the desert camo. Who has the desert camo? It's Casgro here. Why side, if you think you can take over to the other side of the He doesn't have the desert camo. Wait, who has the desert camo? He's wearing woodland green. All right, who's the district camo? Get the ass over here. I'll, I'll go first. <laughs> oh shit, oh, Tro you are. Tropod is continuing the aggro. They have complete defilade to the position and they are still dithering, but 
I mean, to be expected. They are a bit further ahead than two's entire group. Once again, mill reinforcements stuck to waiting in their fob area until... I don't know what the fuck you just said to me, I'm gonna be honest. So they said click H. And, right uh, guys, at the moment the enemy is thinking like, what the hell are know. they doing, hit, right? Hit so, you know, put some on 50 guys, get them moving a little bit forward. Whip. Oddball oh, trying to inspire his SLs to yeah. provide some, uh, yeah, motivation. Uh, you know what? Pass my pay grade. Morrison, do you want to get your <laughs> back? Uh, follow ones just south of the road. Yeah, I just, I was, there we go. Um, yeah. So they're equally spread within as well. Hey, firm, we're gonna get the Vic close to command. My Bravo element has got. And I do think Brixy will be the first one past the barrier, which will allow reinforcements to arrive. And he has crossed it along with a good portion of Squad 2. Reinforcements will roll. Orientation should be southwesterly west, okay? You and we're waiting. 13, 8, we're waiting to see that happen. Right? If you need a fire team to get your northern security, then do so. But Brixie's inside the Fox 13 at her bound. Yeah. Remember, it's the radio on the Fox 13. The outer bound of that is the, uh, the impetus for the reinforcements, and they are not moving yet. We are still waiting for that to happen. We are still waiting for those guys to move. Somebody move the vehicle. Calf have now penetrated about 100 meters in, even though it is Jix Brixie here behind a rock and doesn't really fucking count, but he's still penetrated 100 meters into the outer radius here. Here we go, the reinforcements are on the route. And it looks like they are gonna push directly west of the position. They're gonna drop about 300 meters, 600 meters behind the radio and attempt to push in. Can reinforcements be used as seen fit if they follow the route? No, reinforcements can operate the entire map. Um, but it looks like the reinforcements have been planned to fall in west of their defense point. They're going to dismount. They have a Dishkateki. It has spun out. I'm going to get my Bravo on the ridge line so we get a wrap around. It has regained mobility. Um, looks like ABC is driving. Watch position on the southeast. I but they are running. Take it up as close to the compound as possible. Copy that. Wow, that is some awesome driving. Wow. Bruh. They stuck their vehicle in the rocks at the bridge. Okay. So it looks like the enemy is dug in like a tick and they... they you know, the hide in basically. They stuck their vehicle in the rocks of the bridge. So make sure you guys know about CQC and all that shit. And now, uh, white side, you can initiate. They need to get out and unstuck. <laughs> Fire teams. Copy that. Oh, they got it out. Bro moment. All right, well, the reinforcements are a little late here. Um, it's funny, the transport went the long way around and they're still behind the tran- They're still almost behind the techie, right? This guy crashed into a tree. All right, so safe to say that the person driving the Dishka techie is absolutely dumb. Uh, look at Calf's line. Two squads hard. They have- they are going to face a uh, yeah. Dishka. That is a horrible position for this Dishka. What is this tripod going to do? The tripod is not supporting anything except for inside the compound. No, look at this tripod. 
What is it gonna do? Fox thirteen three nine compound on the south side of town. We're gonna secure that area. I don't know. And then advance north. Can't, th I don't even know if they have any idea. There's no AP mines for this operation. They'll have no AP mines. These are all AT mines, so they're... What, they're just gonna bet that the calf are just gonna roll up hard? With fucking love W's? Yeah, we're literally at the doorstep of the compound, guys, so it's now clearing buildings, yeah? Calf are literally about to start switching from... Moving from cover to cover to clearing buildings. Start clearing. Miller dropping their their reinforcements 600 meters west. As to what then I'm not too sure. Um, probably all hiding on the west side or something. Well, Fox 13 is... Remember, Fox 13 is this entire grid. Shots fired. Someone actually got hit already. We have engaged small arm contact from our northwest. Perry got smacked and he's wearing okay. desert camo. Let's pick up, I want heavy suppressive fire. Let's, let's make them know that we're Yeah, here. where are the MGs? Let's get these cars in. Let's punish them. Honestly, let's yeah. Audible has a great idea here. He needs to get his SLs to get his MGs firing on target. He needs to get his vehicles in there to do something. Foo on this C6 open top. And he's firing towards the direction of known contact. MG from the left. No, that's Kuba on another C6 open top. Pushing rounds. Suppressing. Meanwhile, Kaffir making big gains in the north. And Miller just holding the west. Granted, this is a huge position to hold, but you gotta have more people in the... You gotta... I think a delaying action for a mill would pay off in spades. Having your whole squad defend here is... I don't think it's entirely the, the best idea. Oh, look. That's the AT. That's Lorenzo... He's the only AT. He has rifle grenades. Fox 13, six. He has a foul with rifle grenades on it. Look at Ka uh, Kaskro. He's really close. Rounds are landing all around here. Assault with Watts Watts driving. We're putting rounds near t near this uh, lat guy here. Lorenzo, what can he do? He has no sight on this vehicle. Casgro has his lane locked down. If Lorenzo wants to peek it, even Tropod has a great angle here. Because they pushed all these guys back. Flaccid fell back. It's just Lorenzo holding northeast. Lorenzo doesn't even know if he wants to have his uh, AT grenade on the end of his rifle right now. You have to keep it up here because it's the... These guys are running around the wall. That's a huge extension possible. They can get in behind these guys to the north. Now, Mills reinforcements are rolling in. In a pretty solid air, in a pretty solid ability right now. In case the reinforcements are coming in. And you can hear Oddball here talking about northern reinforcements. And it'll be a little bit till he realizes the reinforcements are coming in from west. Because basically anyone caught in the open here are gonna be is gonna be open season here. Jackal 24G got hit. See where the switch is and look at these guys to the wet. This is command. Where the hell is Command that? probably fucking pinked them from North, here. Somewhere like northwest at the building, I believe. Lawn darts. Kill this guy in the ankle, please. Twink yeah. got a kill on Kuba. That's the first kill. Definitely northwest. Twink King got killed hey, Kuba. Yeah, Pretty sure Kuba was in the freaking gun for one of the C6s. Jackal saw that happen. Jackal saw lawn darts in that building. Lawn darts is commanding mill. 
so he's got to stay alive here for at least continuity of what's going to happen here. Look at Brixie. Brixie has decided to sally forth here. Got a smoke coming in. Hey, yeah, just keep firing at those windows and cover us. And I think Calf might walk into this courtyard here, and that's going to be a problem. Grenade. Assault kills Bow. Laundertz kills Jackal, so that's the guy we saw hit earlier. And now look at the situation here. We got reinforcements here. I just realized my freaking gamma is still turned up from the last nighttime op we had. Hold on. I can fix that. Command, I got a on my uh, not that. Uh, this one. There we go. That's the closer to the gamma that we're seeing in game right now. Copy. But you can see. Oh, calf are pushing in. Bro, look at Brixie right now. Brixie's pushing this wall hard. He's got a problem. If he goes all the way to the end, ABC and J. Kane will see him. Not to mention this entire command structure over here west. Brixie's in the best position to make a problem for this. If he stay real low right now. If he realizes his law is a problem. Oh, look at Twig. Guy, uh, next to yeah, you guys in front of you. Brixie sees APC and JK. Yeah, I just saw smoke get thrown from that bar. Brixie can make the shot. Come on, Brixie. I don't think that's friendly. That's not friendly, bro. More movement, 262. That's a lot. Three. Brixie is caught. Calling out contact is unsure about if it's friendly or not. They have no idea that we're here. Don't worry about it. coming to a solid conclusion here. That's a C4 explosion close. That causes a few mil to scatter. Look at Calf pushing in the north very hard here. An entire squad starting to breach the buildings. Lorenzo and Flash and Walrus are in hard cover. Sandbox, top yeah, don't left. forget crossfire from the other building. I'm holding Very up. smart call from Whiteside. Whiteside is like, watch the crossfire from the adjacent structures. There it is. Twig King kills Prime. Rosa kills Watts Watts. Take contact from the side, 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 side. Terminal gets. Or th sorry, thermal gets banged twice. Grenade comes in close, doesn't do anything. That's big problems. Freddy kills assault. Look at this way. Brixie needs to reveal himself and cause pressure from another direction right now. Visey kills Casgro. He was in the northern breach too. They haven't even made up the stairs yet. They are fighting building to building right now. Uh oh, we got a flanking element. Freddy and Slinger. Freddy made that kill from outside the zone. That's tremendous, actually. Mill even have. They'll even have Alzadi here soloing the Dishkateki, waiting for a chance to shoot someone. Brixie has this guy dead to rights if he stands up. Brixie's crawling back, actually. I think the further he crawls back, the more chance that the Dishka will see him. Liffy throws C4 in, looks like he might have killed Bone. Copy. Multiple injuries. Jake Kane also hurt. ABC bleeding. The Dishka is just looking around like he's losing his mind. Brixie and Glyphy are just still sitting here. Charles. MG kill from a ve vehicle. Kills Frog. They're wrapping around. We need to expedite into the building's cousin. Calf are in a very comfortable position here. As long as they keep their northern guys safe. Popping. We're about to cross. Oh no. Okay, so Kaffir gonna make an assault. Visey kills Whiteside. That's an SL down. Thermal's dead too. Oh, 
Visey suppressed, has to cover and reload. It's just Connors up here in the north. Slinger and Freddy might find a different way in. Explosion goes down. That's a C6 gone. Freddy kills Perry. Big wins for Cap or for Mill right now. 11 to 4. It's a huge gulf. Calf may not really be able to respond to this. Lap goes in, misses. Oh, Alzadi's actually hurt bad. Alzadi goes down. Twig King with the double kill. On oddball and Brixie. Brixie puts the law into the lat uh, to the uh, Dishka. Gliffy runs away with the frag rune there. But Twig King with a double kill. Oddball. That's Command dead. Brixie, that's the lat that had the eyes on the Dishka techie dead. Of course, Alzadi was the person responsible for that vehicle. Lorenzo kills the last person in the north. That's Connor's down. Car no. Connor's down. Carson goes down to Rosa from inside the building. Party in the outside, or sorry, business outside, but party inside. It seems to be what uh, Lon is going with here for defense. Right, like and big problems. 15 to 7 now. Mill in the superior. And so Lawn Darts kills Raph. Raiden kills Vaseline. Speckles gets a grenade on Gliffy on the outside wall. I think that's all she wrote. Culper is just sort of reeling here. Has to run away. Is he the last one alive? Culper's the last one alive. Yeah. Okay, so it's 1v... Uh, let's count here. 4, 8, 13, 15. It's, it's 1v15. Is anyone else alive right now? No, wait. What is this? Maxwell... Has Charles in the Vic too, and the the Jishka turned around and capped him, and this Love W is about to explode. Charles takes more damage from it, so it's two v fifteen. Charles has to bandage right now if he wants to live. Charles survives. The Love W explodes. Two v fifteen. Someone I think is taking a shot at the uh, Culper here. No, they're just shooting the random shit. Culper's gonna get a kill here on Speckles, I think. Taking below. Actually hard to tell. This is up the hill against Speckles behind a low wall. I don't know what happened. Why did Charles go over here with a love W? Did he just go through the low ground and just come up the rear? I don't know, man. I miss that, but doesn't matter so yeah it's uh two versus a lot speckles run up to the wall here Culper is trying to very carefully push himself up charles is taking his time coming up from the rear that vehicle doesn't count as an explosion that's way off out of the ao Culper taking a look far away the sighting. He's gonna throw a grenade. I wish where that went. Actually overthrew Speckles by about 20 meters. Speckles, I don't think he knew where that came from. He probably heard the grenade pin pull. But I don't think he realized it. Charles is literally sprint running up. Culper gets pinged. By Rosa in the tower. Culper literally not out of the woods yet. Speckles just jumps the hill and just rushes him. SKS kill. Speckles base for running the SKS as Mill. Londart's command running over here. Charles now the lone man left. Oh, I could shoot him right now. You could shoot him right now. 
How about you shoot him? Speckles hit. And I don't know what Charles was trying to do there, but he missed a that's whole bunch of... Good. Yeah, that's not good, brother. Throw your smoke. You have a rock. No one is behind you. Charles trying to find a better way to do anything. Oh, I'm cooked. It's Charles, over. It's uh, over. appropriately reading the situation here, but Charles can make a big effort. Oh, he's going to go into the, <laughs> the woods here. He's still being shot at. Charles still looking for shots. Oh, he no. might actually... He could find Londarts here if he just stayed still and looked. But I think Londarts may be looking for him by the rock. He doesn't have his Binox out. Looks like he's an MP5, so... Uh, oh, close in. Freddy chases him down. That's a big problem. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, fifteen. Fifteen mil at the end of the round. Uh, that's a rough loss for calf here. I initially thought mill were cooked because they only had one lat, but calf were not able to use those vehicles. They were not aggressive enough, even though I thought they were aggressive enough at the beginning. But I think my initial impression of the operation is they were definitely not aggressive enough. Uh, we'll take a look at the uh, we'll take a look at the scoreboard here real quick. Yeah, two. Uh, sorry, three. Three for Freddy. Four for Twig. Three for Visey. Three for Rosa. Big kills. Big kills. With the immediate map roll there, we're going to try to get this round two set up as quick as possible. Until then, we're going to take a quick break here, and we'll be back for round two in just a few minutes. Thanks for watching Squad Ops. Oh my god. Bruh. That was rough to watch. Like, I thought Calf had a straightforward plan there, but like... I un... Hmm. Let's look at it objectively here. I underestimated Mill's direct reinforcement plan. I think as Mill, I would have valued reinforcing from a different direction. And seeing the exact opposite of what I would thought would have been a great idea take place and is still, you know, results in a huge victory for Mill. I think that's a big thing. Um, it's a huge win for Mill there. A huge win for Mill. Uh -oh. We'll let everything going against them and still stomped ass. I honestly like maybe not. Like, maybe I read too much in the document thinking Kaffir focused. Even if, like, Mill started their guys away the furthest away as possible. We're only running two squads per platoon here. They started an entire squad off the point. They were still there to make a difference when it counted. The platoon, that, the squad that was on point defending 
defended effectively. They weren't crazy aggressive. They didn't try anything fancy. They were defending basically adjacent to their objective. Inside the buildings. Those buildings are strong. And they even had a lat that could fire grenades off the end of the rifle. Didn't get any kills with the grenades off the end of the rifle. That's still a huge deterrent. And Mill were able to pull it out. And even, even that freaking Dishka that was entirely pointless that they placed interior of their compound. Like... I don't know. Mill played it super. Hmm. What's the word here? How would I describe Mill round one? Mill obviously had a plan for how they were going to reinforce their platoon. The way they defended was super tight. And they didn't make use of all of their resources, I think, in an effective way. I think that's the three things we can say. The reinforcement plan was tight. They defended basically on the objective. And they never, I don't think their defenses came into play. Aside from like static walls and stuff, right? The buildings they were in. That was the only thing that was ever in play. Um, now, granted, Fox 13 is not a huge grid and, or as far as buildings. Like, you could put it in the woods. Think about that. Fox 13 could literally be in the woods, could be in the low ground, could be in all of the woods. They put it outside of a building, surrounded by other buildings, and they still kicked fucking ass. Like, huge, huge kudos the way that Londart's platoon played that. I think, you know, I mean, I look back on it, I still think I undervalued the way that Lon called the reinforcements to come in from the west. I think I would have preferred reinforcements coming from the north. It ultimately didn't matter. There was a buddy team that went north. Everyone else went south. The Dishka reinforce uh, went directly with the rest of the squad from the west, right? Um, you know, uh, it was a great defense. I mean, it's basically as smooth as a defense as you could possibly get for even sized force running into each other, I think. I think it was fucking awesome. All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna take a breath here and then we'll reset for round two. All right, welcome back to Squad Ops. We got Operation Redleaf here. Round two about to begin. Uh, we'll do a reset on what Redleaf is all about. Uh, but ultimately, we're going to reset the broadcast. I'm B Car, providing commentary for this evening. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, appreciate all of you being here. It's a lighter side of attendance this evening, but you know what? Um, I think if round one showed us anything, that um, tactics mean a lot more than maybe brute force does um i think we'll see a little bit of a uh a flip on how things are meant to be here with round two so with uh that said we're gonna go ahead and uh, jump into what the hell is about to happen here as soon as i get an admin cam into a specific excuse me cool place to look 
so I can throw this frickin' uh, map up here. There we go. So, if you missed the briefing from round one, Red Leaf is a basically straightforward push from CAF onto a known militia position in Fox 13. Um, they know the grid where it is, but they don't know exactly where the radio is and where the defenders will be. Um, once half make their push into the outer five radius for the radio that is placed at Fox 13, Militia will be able to reinforce from one of the bases north. See them on map here. Uh, the two red fob markers are where reinforcements can be. Those reinforcements can move after CAF infiltrate the outer fob radius of the radio placed in Fox 13. So that's the big thing. How far do you comfortably let CAF into your area? Where does Mill place the radio? And then what does your what does Mill's reinforcement do once they are given the green light to proceed and begin maneuvers? Those are the big questions here from Mill. As far as CAF knows, they can't go north of the 1011 grid line. And for reference, the 1011 grid line is like, I'm pretty sure it's this line. Yeah, that is the limit of advance for CAF. CAF can't go north of the 1011 grid line. So that's a big constraint on how CAF can fight this battle which necessitates an all-out, all contingencies considered approach towards Fox 13. They have to push west. They really can't, like you can approach from the north, but you're leaving yourself super exposed. If like, if the militia commander is in Fox 13 and he realizes, hey, they're coming from the north, your reinforcements, will be directed straight towards CAF's north. And that's a big problem, because CAF's entire platoon will be between reinforcements and the defense. And that's not a good position. So, uh, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, let's get into the map planning here. We are on CAF again. Teams have switched. So we are now following the lawn darts on CAF. Oddball is running mill. So let's take a look here at the map. We do have a split reinforcement here for Oddball. Oddball deciding he is going to start in the north at Charlie 5. His reinforcements with the Dishka will start at Golf 10. And he will have a squad in Fox 13. He's placed the radio in the middle of the compound or he's intending to place the radio in the middle of the compound, uh, compound based on what we've seen here. Just joking, 24-7, my cat is watching. Meow. Um, I just got kicked out of the server. The server crashed. Uh... Joking. I said Marrow and my connection to the server crashed. All right. Actual round two of Red Leaf. Um, people are getting set up right now. I think we might be rolling pretty fast here, but I can't really say how fast we're going to be rolling. You guys just saw me. Literally went back a buy-in from this fucking Discord Lamau game of poker. Uh, let's just get in the game. If you guys want to see a poker night in um on Discord, you know, hit me up. 
Maybe one weekend we'll do it before we do a uh, operation or something like that. It'll be fun because, like, let's let me be honest here. So, um, sorry, this. So imagine I have a monitor and I have OBS here. So OBS, and then I have it split between a browser that is split between a doc and Twitch chat, or just Twitch, the dashboard. And then I have Discord here. But the way that the Discord stuff works, this is the channel stuff. Everything down here are, excuse me, people in the channel. So like a user list. And this portion right here is where the poker happened. And it's scaled down like probably 20, 20, 20, 25%. Like, it was stupid. Like, I couldn't see anything. I had to squint to see like the bet values. This is on my second monitor, right? That, but that's basically the proportions. I just heard some unsavory advice here. I'm just glad that I wasn't, I didn't have you guys turned on to hear that unsavory advice. I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about. What? Do you All see right. him? Jesus, is that you? Is B Car in the room with us now? Hey, yo, who is that it's horrible there. driver it's around it's one, Lamau? He doesn't exist. <laughs> Which of the many? You talking shit, me? I don't know. Were you driving the Dishka off of uh, Rip round one? Yeah, it was fucking beautiful, wasn't it? Wait, that was you? Why are you bad? Yeah, it was it was beautiful, wasn't it? My brother in Christ, you ran into rocks. You couldn't control the vehicle. Don't hold W. Did it flip? Almost. <laughs> but did it? But did you die? You were stationary for like 30 seconds. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, the transport went the other way around the map and actually almost basically outran you. And so, it did. I, I, I wanted to go that way. I wanted to go that way and I took a wrong turn and didn't realize it. So... Scale issue. So I ended up taking the much... I mean, Freddy said the words. You, you chose the faster path and you couldn't drive it. No, so... It ain't really, it, I don't even think it's that faster. If you look at the other right path, it's like a straight line. You, you were, you were 20, 20 to 30 seconds just sitting there. You could have made it faster. You chose the faster path and you couldn't drive it. it all right. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit you know here. What, it's on site, bro. All right, bro. All right, welcome everyone. <laughs> welcome to round two. Victorious team in round one. Well done, guys. Obviously, defender's advantage is a thing. So just True. Keep in mind that we're attacking. So uh, teamwork is what gets the job done at the end of the day. A little bit of luck. Or oh, the driver, that guy. Uh, he and of course, uh, at least he ended. Game, he respawned because he chose the wrong so kit. Lamau. We'll be bounding up in vehicles. Um, All right, let's see what no Calf's plan is going to be. But a quick summary is transports with squad two. 
um, open tops with command squad and with uh, bow squad, 2IC squad. Remember, they can't go north of this line. Just look at your maps quickly. We're going to be taking the main road. They're very quick vehicles. Please don't flip them. Uh, you don't always have to keep your uh, W key pressed at all times. You know, slightly less than top speed can be a little bit more controllable. Based um, advice from lawn darts? You cannot cross north of the 1011 line. So that's the northern red triangles I've indicated there. Shouldn't be a problem because we're really going nowhere near them. The double red arrows are in Foxtrot 11. So I will put some helmets either side of them. So you know what I'm talking about. That's, that's our route for the whole convoy, right? Fast, rapid convoy heading east to west there. Um, we're going to have um, Coco squad dismount his LUVs in the forest near the Ursa Dosano. And um, then get set, waiting. Welcome in. Bow squad. Bow squad's going to uh, go counterclockwise. Lord us. In Echo 12, uh, which I'll put a couple of helmet marks Ursa, on. what's good? Appreciate the raid. Hope you guys. Going to get set on. We'll enjoy uh, some squad here. Yellow triangles ish. Get spread out there with his vehicles and infantry. And command squad's going to. I'll explain what's going on after Lon explains it to his guys. Advance on the objective. Uh, once we cross into um, approximate fob radius, which is that uh, outside fob indicator circle. Round one was awesome. We'll need to make sure we maintain a crazy defensive win. Uh, Intel suggests that the enemy is on the offense now. Ultimately going after is somewhere in Foxtrot 13 in the compound. Uh, we'll see what happens. What we do is we kill all the people there who are, on, uh, who are militia and then we uh, dig their radio. There's a few Thank differences of around one that I'll go over here. here in a second. Uh, that said, as, as we're moving in, we start to get into contact and, and perhaps slow down. Very important for uh, each fire team, each squad to realize that, you know, good 360 degree security at all times because there will be uh, militia coming out of the woods from uh, who knows what direction. Uh, other than that, um, listen to your fire team leaders and squad leaders. Have fun. Any questions? All right, sweet. So classic sort of L shape is what command is hoping for. When we get up near the compound, we can have a reasonably protracted fight in the forest, but at some point in time, we're going to have to uh, man and woman up and go in there and take the candy off the other team. All right, let's get ready for life. All right, we're going to mutant up in the game here because someone just went ah, um, in, in local. So we're just going to explain what's happening here. So this is red leaf, uh, two squads v two squads. There's a squad defending Fox 13 at the objective here. Two squads from CAF are pushing in with vehicle support. Um, and Mill have one squad off point to reinforce the position at Fox 13. So Mill are defending. They have a squad off point. They have split their squad up between two different positions. Uh, the stars are the ways that they've split their squad up. So they have two fire teams at both these positions, one with the Dishka, one with the Technicals. Oh shit, we're alive, we're gonna go into it. Um, round one was very bad for attacking CAF. Uh, they, they were very bad. Um, it was a 15, to, it was a 15 person win at the end of the round. Uh, very, very bad. We're gonna turn in-game comms back on now. Um, huge problem um calf pushed up this direction from the south and they got to about here they had a force come up around here as well the problem is all of mill reinforced the west side of the objective and the structure on the west side caused a lot of problems for calf to push through basically all of mill were either holding this position holding this position and there was a buddy team holding this position so it, or actually there was really a buddy team here there was a uh the command squad was over here and the reinforcements came in from the west to reinforce calf pushed tried to push from the north and they got basically destroyed uh so they ended up pushing from the south uh and they couldn't do it so um now we have ready 
actually kind of an awesome position here. So the way that the rules are for this operation, Mill can't go past the outer radius of their reinforcement points until Calf infiltrate the re the outer radius of the radio that they're defending in Fox 13. So for reference here, this is a reinforcement point. This is the radio they're trying to defend. The reinforcements can go past this area here. Once CAF infiltrate this circle, it's game on. Mill can move anywhere they want on the map. CAF cannot go north of the 1011 grid line. So CAF are limited to the farthest south part of the map, and Mill can move anywhere. And I haven't even shown you guys. There's a dish technical with Oddball, the commander, and Vaseline up here. I think Vaseline's gunning for Oddball driving. And down here, looks like they just threw an entire squad starting at golf 10-4. And we're gonna go, we're gonna zoom in here because they have not dismounted yet, and they are right across from contact. And Miller just hiding here. So Miller hiding here at this point. Caff are just punching through. One big delayed. And they only have Love W's. Roger. These are not bulletproof. There is a huge problem with them doing this, and Miller not responding. Even here, Mill should be responding with fire at this point. But they are holding their ground. They're holding their ground and Caffer just punching through uh, south of this low wall here. I think I'll hear a shot here. He's trying to stand the red arrows instead of going uh -oh. around. Uh-oh. And then now I'm going to rock, so we're resetting. Roger, rest of the position. Bow, Freddy, and Lorenzo are stuck. Oh, no. Please open up on these guys. They deserve it. They're hiding. For the reasons to not choose this route. They're hiding. Okay, that's a huge transition here. And for whatever reason, my Discord... That's well, because I'm muted in Discord. There we go. You can see me talking now. Okay, so... That's a huge difference here. Calf just drove through. Mill are hiding. Mill are on the objective. There is a there's a dishka on zero chance that we fell too far south, but we didn't enter your outer boat. way up north. That says dishka. Don't at me. Understood. Can you get the rest of your squad headed over to your uh, kickoff point now? So remember, dishka or sorry, militia can't move outside here until they meet this outer fob radius. No one got in this radius. So the entire time Calf was moving, they moved around this point. These guys just held their position. Huge discipline from Mill to not fire at Calf here. It's not cheating. It's the letter of the operation. There's no obligation for the reinforcement squads to attack ahead of CAF pushing into the objective's outer fob radius. And look at this. We have CAF, the main foot's the main foot force on the ground. Is gonna approach this direction. The vehicles are gonna approach this direction. And this was a, a huge portion. This was where the Dishka from Mill approached last round. So this is Calf's positioning. Charging down the hill at us, but this is probably the best spot to set up a 240 for now. Miller waiting. And squad leads reasonably fast movement, you know, bound 50 meters, get the other five to in a reasonable pace once we start. The Dishkas, or sorry, the Calf Love W's have dismounted their entire troop here. They're going to push in. I think Bone is probably going to follow and try to solo one of these vehicles. But they've ditched the other one. 
No, Bow's in the other one right now. So he's trying to command his squad here. So far, Calf have not infiltrated the perimeter, so Mill have to hold. Mill have a disc here holding on the outside, he was gunning. near the outside border. Mill have an entire squad here, basically ready to start pushing in. They already have a plan. Look at this line. They're going to push to here. That's going to cause a big problem for these guys pushing in. And doesn't matter. Calf have three love Ws with uh, C6s on them. Here we go. Cheese Man crosses the perimeter. Cheese Man crosses the perimeter. Let's see the reaction time. Set up. There it is. Mill have been informed that it's happening. And Mill are starting to move. The, the Dishka Technical is coming down the road right now. This is big moves. Yep. I'll go. If you're still here from Ursa Dosano's chat, I uh, I would uh I would love to know what you guys think about this, just from a tactical perspective. Obviously, there are constraints on what's what's happening in these operations, and it's not quite like pub play, but you know, it's it's a big deal. I feel like this is huge from huge potential for Mill to really slap this northern approach in. Look at this. Even Perry is throwing mines behind them, anticipating a vehicle will try to flank around. In all honesty, uh, odds are Oddball runs over the spine and kills himself. What great odds with what what amazement that that, <laughs> that would be just terrible but look at the way they're approaching here from the southwest we're almost certain they know we're here from the southwest like dishka is just gonna roll up the or the the c6 is just gonna roll up the road here and start suppressing obviously these guys know the vehicles ran right past them but they don't know how far they went they stopped here Londarts is still driving the C6 uh, Love W. Has a gunner here. Speckles. Speckles is just looking and waiting for these guys to come from the north. Shots fired in the compound area. And that's from Bow's forces. They're throwing rounds into the building here. We can even see Watts Watts returning fire. Tropod on a Dishka interior of the compound. Look at this defenses. They're anticipating to push from the east. It's not happening. Tropon needs to get off this and figure out something else to do. Well, see, I say that, but Tropon could still try to lock down people on this north corner. And there we go. The northern force is in contact now with Whiteside and Assault holding, holding the north building. Say again, I hit, I turned on reinforcements. And all the reinforcements are coming in now. Look at this oddball and Vaseline. There's even another fire team that flanked for a bit further west here. To try to find forest to bush in from. Calf have a huge portion of their force here. And Mill have nothing to defend, nothing to really do much against. They just have to defend. Big hit from Alzadi here. Tropod TK's fucking assault. Can. In his own building! Uh, infantry will be coming from somewhere out to your north, northwest. Tropod, get off the dishka. Two times we're saying. Tropod, Tropod, it's time to get up. Whoa. Whiteside gets the first kill for Mill. That wasn't a TK. And it's on Kugumain. Look at Slinger and Bone here. C6 just spamming the building. Whiteside is stuck here. Team element on the building. We need to push in quick. Heard to it. And there you go. Three. That's decisiveness from command. Wants to get in this building. Right, Rosa finding, trying to find a way in here. It's just Whiteside here. 
Almost all of Calf's vehicles are here. They have three Love W's with C6s on them. And they're just going to suppress all of the windows that they see. And there's Tropod. Look at that smoke throw! It's going to completely blind Tropod. If it, if it blooms, it's going to blind Tropod. Oh no! Freddy gets a kill on Thermal. That's the first calf, the first calf kill. Thermal was the rear guard. Oh, Watts Watts kills Raiden. Bound goes down. Rosa gets killed from Whiteside in the building to the north. Location of Dishka. Emplacement inside would be great too. Oddball and Vaseline are in an awesome position to kill Slinger and Bone here. Cheeseman just TK'd Lorenzo right, with that C4 throw. Cotty and 6 1 contact to their north. They could hold up the rest of the reinforcements. Oh my god, that's the C6 dead. They're both gone. The kills aren't getting reported, but they're dead. There's literally like seven people pushing in this compound. There's six people pushing this compound right now. For calf. Literally down to 10 players. Yeah, it's... Calf are literally down to 10 players at this point. Two, two, and six. This turned way too fast. The Dishka pushing up from the south, basically flanking these guys out. Freddy kills Tropod on the Dishka, near the Dishka emplacement. Watts Watts has to defend that with his life at this point. Contact south. Katian 6 1 moving in from northwest. Along the south road. Lawn is reinforcing with speckles from the southwest. We're pretty even here in the compound. It's just Connors, Watts Watts, and Whiteside holding for Mill. Against six players in the compound here. Oh, and there's that Dishka again. What's it's oddball and Vaseline drifting around. We have up to three carry. Oddball ditches. It sounds like a squad out to my buddy pairs and throat you That was an awesome push, but Mill had a great response to it. And it really stuffed Calf's options. Calf half to be really judicious with how they're going to push here. Whiteside getting pressure from Jays and Freddy. Jeez. Freddy right. looks like he knows where he wants to shoot. Yes. Whiteside doing the best he can to hold himself in this building. Raf kills 6 1. Kati by herself now. Frog, can you hear us? Raf closing in on Kati. Unknown contact south on, or, and on the southern Behind side. hard rocks here. I think Kathy may be in contact to her north northeast. If you can get those guys local, I don't know if Kathy's shot. Kathy running away. Kathy got caught out by Culper. Whiteside kills Frog inside the compound. Those are bodies that Calf can't lose. Here comes Vaseline just yellowing. Raf up and around the rock. Takes out Kati. That's all the northern protection that the calf platoon had. Calf down to a squad. Lawn darts and speckles ditch their Vic and they're inside here. South building, one X contact still in the north building. Calf in a position. Security, we're trying to watch your west and your northwest. If they could defend this position from where Mill are coming from, that's a big problem. Middle of the clearing. And Freddy calls out the position of the radio. And it's taken some damage already. Oh, uh, Speckles are already had some damage. ABC gets tagged. Culper may be pushing Speckles and Lawn Darts. Is split away from the rest of his group. Oh no, look from the south. Watts, Watts, Connors, and Oddball. Speaking of uh, Connors, 
throws that AT grenade up above the building, trying to arc it over. Didn't quite get it. Call map by name if you have to. Contact on your northern wall right now. North, north Lawn east. sees this fire team moving in. Oh no, Alzadi and ABC are not watching. Once that goes off, we clear the top floor. Big bang. Whiteside goes down inside. Cheese man wants to get inside right now. Big fight here. Jax Kane. Jaxel. Uh, Jackal up over the wall. ABC. On the sandbag. Can't find it. He's going to run inside right across the field of fire. Alzadi is stuck. Alzadi eats a grenade from Carson. He goes down. Jaxel, or Jackal moving in. Who's in here? They're, they're fucking, they're right behind me, man. Yeah, they're, they're right on the ABC side. goes down to Jackal. Cheese Man turns around. Takes out Jackal. Cheese Man is still bleeding. He's got a bandage now. Big losses from Calf. Here comes, F or Freddy and Jays are still in that central building. They can't really maneuver to support Cheese Man here. Cheese Man is only surviving by the fact that he is prone with these windows. Look at Maxwell's position here. He's got this whole thing lined up. Lawn takes out Vaseline. He was running the vehicle by himself. Lawn is running off. Cheese Man by himself in the northern building. Jays and Freddy are trying to support him. Meanwhile, Speckles and Lawn Darts runs away. Yeah, Maxwell just TKs Jake's cane. Oh no, he had the angle and he just took the first shot at anything that moved. Lawn Darts gets a kill on Raf. More shots, Lawn Darts is hit. From Perry. Perry knows where that contact came from. Meanwhile, other side, Cheese Man faces down Oddball. That's the command dead. Cheese Man's upstairs now. He's got himself enough protection here. Freddy gets a kill on Perry. Perry was chasing Lawn. Carson fights Jays in the window, kills Jays. Two in the compound, two outside for Calf. That's it. Mill have four in the compound, plus one outside. It's four v five. Mill with the advantage here. Freddy, what's the situation there? What is Freddy gonna say to this? Lots of peeking outside windows. All right, so most of your contacts outside. Yes. If Lon and Speckles push the building where they were, Culper is waiting for them. All right, Roger. Watts is still internal. Google main. Or sorry, this is Connors with the AT. Looking for a chance to put his rifle grenade somewhere. He's trying to find a window to shoot it into this building, the I think. I killed just earlier pushing you was really booking it. There might be another guy who pushed that angle, but I can't tell. Roger. Connors is literally looking for an angle to shoot his rifle grenade into. I've still got my AT. If you can give me an accurate building where anyone's in, we can put a rocket in there. Wow, Speckles is AT. Shots fired. From Watts Watts onto Freddy. Connors, if he gets it in the window, Freddy's dead. Freddy, was that in the building? Oh no. That almost hit Connors. Right now. Connors is just waiting for something to s for him to see something in the window. He's not going to see anything. Freddy's downstairs now. Cheese is looking for a shot on Watts. 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 Watts finds him first. All right. From southern building Wait again. Three v five. Speckles takes out Connors. Three v four. I dropped one. That's a big loss for Mill. That grenade is good for Lawn. It kills Watts Watts. Moving. 3v3. Let's try and move around on that. Oh, shit. Culper takes out Speckles from behind. 2v3. It's Freddy and Lawn versus Carson, Mad Maxwell, and Culper. Culper's running straight for Freddy's position. They fight through the window. Freddy gets the win. 2v2. 
Minus one. Lon runs straight for Maxwell. He's going through the hole. Lon doesn't win the fight through the hole in the wall. Maxwell takes him out. 2v1. Maxwell versus Maxwell and Carson versus Freddy. Freddy has eyes on the objective. So does Carson. Maxwell holding perimeter south side. Carson got to reposition here. He's going to reposition the fine Maxwell. No, he repositions to another angle. Look at this. They blocked the doorway here. Freddy can't get out. Through the east side of the building. He has to go around. 2v1 now to the side red leaf round two. Carson meets up with Maxwell. What will he do? Maxwell's going to climb out. They're going to clockwise sweep this whole entire area while Freddy's doing the same thing. Freddy's going to keep running around here. Freddy's going to jump the wall north side. He's going to get inside a building probably. He's running towards it. Freddy taking his time. He's internal now. And he may have an angle on the opposite building where he thinks the fire was coming from. He's going to keep pushing. Maxwell and Carson still on that south wall. They're going to push around. They think the contact is still in this red building here in center of your screen. This is the west side of the compound. They're coming from two different angles. They're trying to cover as many of the windows as they can from this angle. Carson still moving fastest here. Freddy, meanwhile, has moved all the way northeast. This comes down to maybe if they get into this building, this maybe comes down to Mill trying to shoot Freddy out from the window. 2v1. Calf on last man. Mill, two remaining. The radio is down to 76% health. I don't think they're inside the building yet. Okay, I think Maxwell's... Carson's inside the building now? I can't tell. They're both inside the building now, I think. Freddy's moving around. He's trying to find a way into the compound that isn't, like, directly through the front door. He might just do it anyway. He's looking. Doesn't see anyone. Oh, this is a big gamble from Freddy here. He jumps up on top of the vehicle. Carson and Maxwell don't have eyes on this. Freddy still thinks contact may be south. Carson and Maxwell trying to clear that western estate building. Smoke. It's going to tell Freddy where they are. I don't even know where that... They're firing smoke grenades inside the building. I don't know what that accomplishes. Freddy on the move. He's getting internal to the south building. Carson and Maxwell still searching inside the building right now. Freddy continues to push. Freddy might have a great angle if they decide to get out here. Someone in Live Op is still trying to transmit in local. Hope they get banned. Freddy clearing the south building. No real chance for Carson and Maxwell to see him. Freddy's now looking at this building to the northwest. I don't think he can see anything. Carson picks it up from the front. Freddy saw something moving. There goes Maxwell. 
1v1. Carson knows where that shot came from. Freddy displaces. Freddy going downstairs. Carson's home going downstairs. He comes back up. Carson goes back inside. Freddy and Carson know exactly where each other are right now. Carson goes upstairs. Freddy, not quite sure if he wants to go down or up. Carson looking for an angle here. I think if Freddy tried to put, stay near the window, I think he might have had an angle here. Carson has a great angle here. Carson, does see him? Carson sees him? No, maybe. Yes. You think Freddy's gonna die? Basket of Puppies gets banned from this operation because he's talked after death. Check. Freddy gets hit from Carson's bullets here. Carson runs to the north side of the building. Freddy has to bandage. I don't know how many more bandages he has. Freddy wants the outside wall. I don't think he wants to fight. Carson window versus no window here. They're both on about a similar amount of health. One or two bullets will end it. One bullet and no chance to no chance to bandage will be certain death. Carson's still running around. Carson comes downstairs. Freddy's holding the angle. Carson might try. He's going outside. Carson coming in. Freddy is just going to hold the doorway. He goes prone. He goes crouched. He wins the fight. Freddy wins. Maybe we would on that if Freddy I didn't get too good. You guys are literally talking while the round is going on. Please don't do that. Well done, Freddy. That's not good. Cool. Don't believe the lies about me talking in local it was an accident. It it's, didn't happen. It was. It, it happened. Lies. It's on stream, my friend. Get banned. All right, let's take a look at the scoreboard real quick. That was intense. Great win for Freddy there. And three kills Londars, three kills Cheese Man, six kills for Freddy. Three kills Whiteside. And then there you go. Sheesh. What a round that was. And there you go. Red Leaf is in the books. And uh, we're going to call it there for the night. Gee whiz. Uh, big thanks to Urso, Urso Dosano for the raid. If you guys stuck through, appreciate you guys uh, watching the stream. If you liked what you saw, hit that follow button. We do this on Wednesdays and Saturdays, sometimes on Sundays. And if you want to ever participate in something like this, our Discord is open at discord.gg slash squadops. Come on down and join on in. Until next time, I'm Bcar. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys Saturday.